Ladies and gentle frogs, welcome back to my channel. We are not twitching tonight, we're just playing on regular old YouTube. Uh, and I'm going to... You know, I, I plan on continuing this series. Uh, the sad thing, though, is that it seems like... I did forget to restart, so the game's going to be a little choppy. I apologize. Um, obviously, there's been an issue... <laughs> did you see that boar? <laughs> a freaking giant boar, like, running along the road beside me. Um... There's been some issues with the copyright issue with this game. Apparently, uh, digging a little deeper into it, somebody wrote in, and I, I guess the claim is most likely an equipment claim. Um, in other words, either a manufacturer or a group of manufacturers said that the products that were in this game are too close to the real item. And so they were getting threatened to change the yeah, look so of the game. My bed is so bounceful, did you just say, Jonah? Bounceable. It's bounceable? Are you bouncing on my bed? Great. Well, there's my, I have no frame on my bread. On my bread. On my bread. My bread has no frame. Um, and so he can jump on it all he likes. It won't really do anything to the bed. There we go. So got wood Somebody said you can replace the wood in the house. I don't see any other kind of wood that you could buy, so we can buy ceramic roof, bricks, you know, um, what's that metal, finish coat, scratch coat, um, wood glaze, oh, maybe that's what we need, um, Shingles. Yep. <laughs> so let's do this. I'm just gonna see if I can put this down, but we might have to do we might have to try other stuff first, so I'm gonna pick up the wood glaze and we're gonna go to the house. Um let's look at uh, look at our map. And I'm gonna just jump to the whatever this is. There we go. And we're off and free, and we're gonna It's gonna be evening. I think I've sold all the grain that was in my in my silo. Let's get closer here. Should be empty. Yeah, there's still 4,000 kilograms. I have one more sale to do of wheat. Um, we'll do that in the morning, though. Um, I've made, let's see, does it tell me my money amount? I think I need to do tab to do the money amount. Um, we've got seven 7,000 bucks. Which is great, because that's almost as much as we had when we started out this morning when I bought that. If you guys remember, I bought that field this morning, and I harvested it all day. Actually, I think I bought it last night. I harvested it all day and sold off some of the crop, and there's more crop to sell. And then on top of that, we still get to open, or we get to sell off all the um, all the straw, because I don't need any straw for the cows. I've got plenty right now. Yeah, come on, close this door. Yeah. No, it's right. The trigger's right where? E. Okay. So let's do this. Two. and see if we can... I can't use the glaze on these floors. I want to see if I can upgrade these, but... It doesn't let me wood glaze these. The other thing that we could try... Um, now this door always goes back. I've glazed the door, but... Ooh. See, this has new wood planks on the floor. Maybe I could do that on rooms that have old... So I think we have to put planks down for some reason. I think we did have to put wood planks down. And then we glaze it. Uh, I'm getting a little hungry. I'm going to grab something to eat. Mmm, delicious. Fish oil. Cool. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, the bathroom. That's right. So there's not a floor <coughs> floor glaze. Sorry, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Um, so these all need to be replaced with new boards. And I think the same holds true upstairs. Yeah, this is all old. Wow, well, look at the got new new. I don't remember doing these floors. I don't think I did. So I think this is just luck. As luck would have it, I just happen to have this. 
Very nice. Okay, so the house is really coming together now. If I could just find a wife. I haven't been able to find a wife yet, so... Let's go back, real quick back to the truck, which is here, and we're going to grab the planks. i do this a couple times. I'm going to grab some wood planks. E. I had no idea what I was doing, so I bought a whole bunch of planks, as you can see here. Now I know what I'm doing, and I would have only bought one set, since they're still free to... Anyway, the, I... I, you know, this whole copyright thing, we'll have to see what happens, but, I mean, if this doesn't go well for them, they could end up not being able to release this game, and, you know, right now it's been off of Steam for almost two weeks. I can't imagine the manufacturer and the publisher are very happy about that. Um, there's probably a lot of yelling going on and some very unhappy people. I hope that they're able to, to get it all sorted out. Um, I would imagine they probably will. There we go. Let's replace the floor with I would imagine they will sort it out. But in the meantime, we're kind of stuck in limbo. Not good for them, not good for us, you know, because there's no... Yeah, it's done. There we go. Because in the meantime, we'll just have to wait. And this game, I, I don't know, I mean, it, it seems like they're doing updates and stuff still. I really like this game. I know there's people out there that are complaining about it, saying it's not very good, and... Uh, but in general, people seem to like it, and I, I really hope they do well because I think it's a, it's a very different game. And so we're all set there. This is the basement's done. Room done, done. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, let's see. Uh, I don't remember. Wow, that looks nice. I don't remember being able to do those before. So, oh, it did all the way up the steps. Look at this. Yeah, for sure I haven't done this before, so... <coughs> Pardon me. I don't know why I'm coughing all of a sudden. I've been fine all... all week. And I just woke up from a nap. I had a long day today. I did end up... Went to the tire place, and of course they want to sell you tires, but I think they were right in this case. I was looking at my tires, and they're pretty messed up, like... The car was definitely out of alignment, and after having them do the alignment, it made a huge difference in the way the car, my new car handles. And so I just realized that the person that had it before obviously probably needed to have an alignment done for a pretty long time and just never took care of it because what was going on was that the car um, was eating its tires. And so, um, you know, if you looked at the car, it had a... Um, See, we can wood glaze. We can glaze all this stuff, man. Look how nice that looks. Oh, nice doors. Oh, my gosh. You could just go crazy with this. Oh, man. Oh, brother. We gonna, we're going to have to climb up top now. Oh, I was doing it. So, anyway, it just... um. My car really needed to be to be aligned, and I think that the guy had just left it, and so what happened was the car was, you know, running a little, uh, to <laughs> eating up its tires because <laughs> it needed an alignment, and the guy just never bothered to do it. I mean, the tires weren't that old that were on it. They were new tires, but they just weren't taking... And here's the thing about buying a car at auction. You never know, compared to even getting, like, a used car, I almost prefer just buy spending a couple extra thousand dollars and getting a used car because now I've already spent... You know, like two or three hundred dollars for accessories to make the car nice inside because it was so trashed. I had to spend some money to get it up to date, and then you know, it's like, then I got to spend you know, uh, five hundred bucks on tires and alignment. So I've already spent an, on a car that I saved, maybe saved twenty five hundred bucks. I've already spent you know eight hundred bucks of that. So it's like I still saved a little bit of money, but you know, the car was in bad shape. I also got new hubcaps. The car looks way... It looks way better because it's not these ratty old ripped up hubcaps that were on there because the guy just beat the crap out of the hubcaps and they were the original ones that were on the car but they were all cracked up and stuff. So anyway, the car's looking a lot happier and a lot... a lot better now. And that makes my life happier because I'm pretty picky about my car. Especially when you show up. You know, I have to show up for clients and stuff. I can't have pieces falling off and... Ripped up, uh, ripped up hubcaps. 
Take it easy, mater. You're a special mater bear? He's a mater stein bear? Now, people kept saying I missed part of the cow barn above the doors. And I'm going to look at this real close, but I don't... I think because they were seeing that white stuff, but that's part of the door, and that's new. It's not missed. It's just how it is. They were like, you missed part of the door. And I'm like, I... that's how that's supposed to be. I didn't miss it. That's just how it is. All right, looking... looking. <laughs> What? It's a barn, Seth. Not a car. And dang it, look, it be looking good. You be looking kind of good. My floor looks good. It's all brushed and pretty. What's up, brush? Oh, yeah. My wife's going to love this. Little brush there, little brush here. Five minutes and the whole house is redone. <laughs> if only it was that easy. It's like redoing floors actually isn't that bad. And in, in my old house in Fairview, my ex-wife and I redid the floors before we moved in. We bought the house and then um, and promptly redid the floors, and it made a huge difference. And oh, look at that! It even does the steps when you do that. Oh, I'm, oh, look! Oh, that looks really nice. And so we redid the. Oh, I forget what I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> the floors. Uh, it took like three days. I mean, it was a lot of work. But uh, to be honest with you, once we were done, they're, they're still the people that live in that house. Twenty years later, are probably still using the finish that we put on there because it's just you know you just we sanded the floors down, got all the crud off of them, and sanded them down, and then we uh, we put down you know floor glaze, and it just it looked beautiful when it was finished, like a bowling alley. And uh, it's just, you know, that just lasts unless you have like some kind of dog or something that tears it up every time they get up. My guy needs to sleep. So we're going to wake up in the morning and um, we'll sell that last. Uh, get some eggs here. Eat egg. Got some eggs for breakfast. Are you unbearable? Yeah. No, you're good. You're well, cute, yeah. Mater. Unbearable, no one can, no one can stand my cuteness. No one can stand your cuteness? Yes. I can't stand your cuteness. I love it. Yes. But I can stand it, so it's bearable. You're unbearably cute, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm unbearable cute. He said, yeah, remember? Do you, Dad, do you have any idea how cute I am? Unbearably cute. Yeah. Just too cute. Yes. No one can stand my <laughs> This is. Uh, you could get. Oh, just go overboard with this. What? Well, Tim. Will, Tim can pick you up later. Why don't you guys get up at nine, and Tim can pick you up and take. Well, I mean, staying up there means you can stay up till like one o'clock in the morning and still get up. Yeah, it's not like it's that early. Can we do the pens? No. Uh, I suppose, Evelyn. I, it's because I want you guys to go to the store with me to pick out your mats. I will take them if they want to go, but nobody ever wants to get up early. I want to go. I'm gonna, you guys are all going to end up going with Tim. Where are you guys going? I'll think, we'll talk about it later. I'm recording right now. Do, do, do. It's funny. People start to view, even though I'm not doing anything on Steam right now, I still get Steam stuff, so. You guys will see that notification. That's pretty funny. Look how nice. Ooh, that looks really good. Hey, Barney, you be looking kind of good, Barn. I'll be there in a minute, cows. I'm busy. I'm busy. John, take it easy, boy. You need to chill out. 
wonder if it does the. F I wonder if it does the ceiling. No, those are all done. Okay, so but still, that's really funny. <laughs> and a wood glaze protects the wood and makes it last longer. So just this cowboy is going. This car, the the cowboy is going to last forever. This cowboy, the cows are going to explode if I don't milk them soon. Though they're getting, they're, getting, they're lowing. That's what cows do when they need to be milked. They go. All right, cows, give me the juice. I need some cow juice. Give me some half and half. Gonna make some cheese. All the foods. Pizza. Tea with milk. We get a lot of milk. We just, you know, I'm gonna save most of it and then sell most of it. <laughs> Wish you just made more money from the cows. I suppose if you save up like a like a couple months worth of milk and then you know you'll get a ton you'll get a ton that you have and then you can sell that and it's worth money. You just can't do it every day. Pretty soon our veggies are going to be coming ripe too. It takes 30 days. So I think from what Jared Jared said, I think somebody said maybe it was maybe it was Micah said it's 30. Whoops, I don't want to milk your butt. Sorry. I know. I know. I'm getting a little close in there. That's the only angle I can come from there. Cow, sit still. Moo. Moo on you. My cows have changed color. Somehow I went from uh, brown cows to black and white cows. I got a couple of... What do you call those? Uh, Hersford or whatever. The white ones with the black spots. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know my cow entomology. Chicken coop with wood glaze. Oh, look at that. It's like a bowling alley. It looks like a cathedral floor. You chickens have the best looking coop in the neighborhood. All my neighbors think I'm amazing. Do they really? Or are you just saying? They do. I've got like a social standing of 60,000. And I've even spent some of it and they still think that I'm hot. Oh, now look what you started. Now look what you started. I'm going to do all of these with wood glaze. Look at your chicken coop. It's so nice. Look how pretty your coop is. Glaze in the chicken coop. Too bad you don't get any social points for it now because we've, we've, they've given us all the social points at the beginning and now we, uh, I think... But see, I think maybe what will happen is later on you're going to actually have to do all this because I have a feeling like this will be part of the restoration of the farm. Like they won't just let you get away with, you know, doing a couple w a days of work at the very beginning and then being all done. You're going to have to continually work on your farm and earn social points, I bet. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they just keep it that simple. Or maybe no one will ever play this game again because they lost their lawsuit and are not allowed to sell any longer. I, for one, am glad I was able to get to play it. Uh, this is a very enjoyable farming game, very different from anything that I've played. Um, you know, it does have some similar similarities, has some similarities to Farm Expert, but, and it's made, by, obviously, it's developed by the Farm Expert developers, but it's still different enough that it's, I, I just like it. I, I'm really glad that I got an opportunity to try the game out and I will be very sad if it ends up in limbo because of a, law, a stupid lawsuit thing. I mean, it's like, hopefully the companies will be mature enough to go, dude, seriously, it's a game. Come on, man. Free advertising for you and your companies. But, I, I mean, I get it. I know there's, especially if it's European, I know the Europeans are kind of nuts about copyright stuff. America, America, I mean, we can we can get that way too, but I mean, like, to the point where, like, I know in England, like, if you take a camera to, like, Cardiff or something, you start photographing, you can actually get in trouble and get get fined from the police for taking pictures of bu certain buildings. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Here in America, you take a, you want to take a picture of a building, you take a picture, and no one's going to say a word about it. But over there, it's like, well, do you have permission from the architect to take this picture? Well, no. 
okay, well then you're going to jail. You know, it's like you have to you can't even take a photograph, so you got to really watch over there. But then again, John Deere's an American company, and they're just as what's the word I'm looking for? Um, spastic, <laughs> ridiculous about their about their copyright. So yeah, it could happen. Once again, it's all it's all speculation about who caused it and what caused it, but uh, we don't know, and we may never know why this happened. But well, look, we can make these all nice. That's really awesome. Oh man, I got the really. I I put that bleep on everything. Hell of a <laughs> hell of a good wood glaze. I put that boop on everything. I'm putting it on everything. There we go. All right. All right let's collect these eggs that we've now poisoned with glaze. <laughs> glazed eggs. Any would any would can anyone care for any glazed eggs? Some any lacquer glazed eggs? It's not quite the same as. Is like a nice um, teriyaki glaze. Oh, I had chicken teriyaki for dinner tonight. Oh, it was so good. Sakyo! Saraku! Alright, let's get out of here. Busting out. Okay, so we've got our eggs. We've got our thingamajigger. Let's go ahead and get the tractor. I'll get the chopper. And I'm going to take it the last load of wheat. Get to the chopper. Get to, get to the chopper. Can we fix this up? No. It's a shame. It's a dang shame. Oh, we can... Oh. What'd I just do? Oh, bummer. Oh. Well, there is that. <laughs> Might as well make it match. Well, I'll have to get some steel. Plated steel. <laughs> Crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what a waste of time and energy. My joystick shut off. Come on, wake up. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that's my controller. Now you can see that too. Mm. Oh, wait, don't I have don't I have that at home? I should have sheet metal at home somewhere. By the... Look how nice that looks. The house is looking great. Yeah, there's sheet metal right there, so I can just pick this up. And e. Let's anodize that door again and fix that. It's neat that you can replace materials, though. Just get rid of them and get something else in there. Much better. Back to where it was. Too cool for school. Driving back with our, our tractor. The Jack Bear lawsuit tractor. That's probably what we're talking about here. Come on, baby. Baby. You're my tractor. That's not what I wanted to press. Um, hitch the trailer. There we go. Jack bar spinning out. Meanwhile, let's take a real quick look at our veggies. They're not grown yet. Yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah. So we're going to run down. I'm going to run this down to the... Uh, didn't fill it up. So I'm not running it anywhere. I'm just going to sit on it for a minute. Disposal. Fill her up all the way. That's the last of our grain, 93% full. And let's go ahead and run down to the, the mill. One of the things they did fix since the last time I recorded, I think, maybe? But maybe this was fixed last time. I don't remember. Um, 
don't know if you remember there for a while there there's so much exhaust coming out that you couldn't even see uh, it was like blowing in your face all of that exhaust now they fix that so it vents straight up and then comes back um, so I'm gonna run down um, to the mill and I will be back I'm not gonna video that because it takes forever but once I get down there I'll record so I'll see you guys at the mill right here we are ladies and gentlemen at the mill Ryan's telling me about his guitar woes. He, they've, he sent his guitar because he couldn't get the pickups. If you guys remember, he couldn't get the pickups working. So he sent it in to get fixed, and uh, they've had it now for three weeks, and they can't get it working. And so, you know, they can get one pickup working or the other, but they can't get both working at the same time. So the field has now paid for itself um, as far as our money goes. We spent, we had 7,000 when we started. We gained 2,000 euros just by selling the grain that was on the field. So we paid, we spent $7,000 on the field, so we gained 2,000 euros. Um, I think, is that how that went? Yeah, I think that's how that went. Let me think about this. Or maybe, yeah, you know what, you know, maybe I had nine. No, because I, I had 7,000 euros when I bought the field, I think. I don't remember. Maybe I haven't made anything. I, maybe I broke even. I, it was either, either I, <laughs> I think I paid 7,000 for the field, but it might have been 4,000 for the I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look at the videos. Sorry, guys. I can't remember for sure, like, offhand. But I do know this. Uh, once I'm done selling the wheat off the field, the straw, I mean, uh, I will be making a profit. So um, either way, we made money, and that's a good thing. Uh, and I'll be able to buy another field and do the same thing. So we're slowly increasing our money, but hugely increasing our field sizes. Um, and that's, that's what we need to do. We need to get more fields so we can make more product and make more money. Unfortunately, we have this really old Tier 1 equipment. I'm thinking about possibly not plowing these larger fields for the time being, just cultivating them. Uh, I know I'll lose some yield from the crop, but I don't... In real life, they don't plow that much. I don't know what the percentage is of how much crop I'll lose, but, you know, if I already own the field, what does it matter? Because I'll still be getting crop off of it. I just won't be getting as much. So, anyway, that's my idea. Those are the ideas by Artie. So anyway, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make the trip home, and I'll see you when I get there. Ladies and gentlemen, while I was dilly-dallying around, I forgot it's going to rain tomorrow. Now, I've gotten all my straw collected into bales already. I forgot that I did that when I was off off air. So you guys did not see that portion of it. Um, I know some of you may be mad at me for that, but I, tr I try to do as much as possible while you get... Like some of the more menial tasks. You've already seen me do a lot of bailing, and so I didn't figure you didn't really care. But some people do care. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but I did do I did do the bailing already yesterday. But I'm realizing I got to get going on this because we have oh wrong end rats. Uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, and I don't know. I know if I, if the straw is on the the ground and it rains, um, it will uh, it will disintegrate and disappear. I don't know if you've, if you've bailed the straw and leave it outside. It, I would imagine it probably does disintegrate because it does in real life, too. Um, how's the manure? The manure pile's not getting better, so it is just slurry that we get. Um, but uh, I may still plow the fields. I don't know. I just I can't plow it with the, you know, with the... I have to use the small plow. I can't... I could buy the big plow, but they changed it. You can't use this little tractor with the big plow anymore. So... Um, I'm a long way away from being, being able to afford the. Uh, whoops. I'm a long way from being able to afford our uh, sweetness, the big uh, whatever thing, my jigger, the the Lindner. That's the name. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. The uh, er, uh, er, uh, Lindner. Started recording yesterday. Uh, made my first snippet song which um, I may end up starting using for the intros for this series we'll see um, I don't know how much long the series will go but I think it's gonna go for a while because there's just so much to do in this game it's kind of like farm sim it just it's the game that never ends and I like that that's one of those things that but it's a good enough game that I could keep playing it at least for a couple years to see what happens just like farm sim you know I feel like uh, this is one of those games that just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. 
And uh, don't forget to watch the Skyrim series. I know a lot of people, it's not a super popular series right now, but everybody that watches it ends up loving it. I pretty much have a, a good follow rate for the people that do watch Skyrim. I know that most of my people here are either World of Tanks fans or farming fans. A vast majority are farming fans. But if you like my personality, you're going to like Skyrim. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we just have a good time. I would start at the beginning of the, the Skyrim series. Um, but I do have a short, there's a short series where I play as a, that's it, Ryan, yep. Nope. Um, unless you want to, like if you want to stop and get some snacks or something, you can, but. Um, there's a series that I've done, um, where I'm a cat. <laughs> and then there's another series that I've done where, um, I'm just, uh, an Imperial, and that's the series I'm doing right now. Uh, the Meowther series didn't do well. I got discouraged and quit, uh, but then came back again and started doing more work. And I think, like I said, if you've enjoyed these other series, I think the Skyrim series you'll enjoy. It's, it's pretty funny. Some silly stuff happens in Skyrim. So anyway, I'm going to pull around here. Once you, once you have to start walking more than a minute or two, it's like time to move the tractor. We will sell these bales. I don't think the price... The bale wagon, I think, is always 3000 bucks. so you don't... We're just going to make a ton of money. I mean, not a ton, but we'll have like fifteen or $20,000 when we're done with this. You mean enough? We'll have enough money, yeah. Exactly, Seth. It's never, never, never enough. <laughs> little prayer chain. <laughs> Back in the, the days of grunge. All grungy metal. Yeah. They were like the Christian version of Nirvana. But better. Actually, they were better. <laughs> 